Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I'm at the end of renovating a three bed Victorian property in London. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you four essential must-have items for the home because the rubble is gone, the dust has settled, and I can actually start to shift focus on bringing in essential items and decor pieces to hopefully turn this house into a home. So I have four items to share with you in this video. And the first one is not a sexy item. In fact, none of the items are sexy items, but the first one is an ironing board. Yes, guys, an ironing board. So my old ironing board was super squeaky. It basically had reached its sell by date and therefore I wanted to find a new ironing board that was great quality and of course great design because I believe that functional essential items do not have to be boring they can absolutely have a great design and great aesthetics and I think some of the items that I'm going to share with you definitely meet that criteria so the ironing board that I have gone for is by a company called Laura Stark not sponsored they are a Swiss company who are basically the you know creme de la creme of manufacturers for ironing boards, yes, and irons, would you believe? So they have their own website, of course, where you can check out their full range, but they also sell on Selfridges and Harrods as well. So without any further ado, I'm gonna show you the first essential item, the ironing board. <laughs> So this is the ironing board guys by Laura Star and it is a thing of beauty and I love the aesthetics of it because it has this matte black uh, detailing on the legs and on the ironing board stand and then this neutral ironing board cover that you can see on top and to get in a little bit closer I want to talk about the ironing board cover because I've actually already washed it at 60 degrees in fact and was really concerned that I was going to ruin it and luckily it actually came out really, really well, which is a testament to the quality of the ironing board. Ironing board tours, guys, are now a thing. Um, and this one definitely deserves to be toured because it also has this retractable ironing board stand, so you can actually retract it as a space-saving measure. The um, foam is actually attached to this ironing board cover, which is part of the reason as to why I was afraid to wash it, but it actually came out fine, as mentioned. It did end up being quite wrinkly, as you can see here, post-wash, but I can absolutely live with that. So just giving you another sense, another view, sorry, of what the actual iron looks, ironing board looks like. And again, ironing board tours, guys, are now a thing. And this is my version of the ironing board tool, but it's just super simple, sleek design. And I'm gonna see if we can just swing it around here so you can get the full experience of the ironing board tool. Again, we do ironing board tools on this channel now, so. That is the first item, guys. Again, essential items do not have to be aesthetically boring. And this one, for me, meets both style and function standards. So yeah, so that's the first item. So you've just seen the ironing board and the next item that I wanna share with you is actually in keeping with the ironing board theme. And it is a fold up laundry basket, <laughs> which is definitely an essential item and I needed one that was basically foldable because I am really, really pro space saving and this one basically, as you can see, folds and you can store it away. I quite like this, um, I'm not really sure if this is a pinky movie type colour, but I quite liked it. I thought it complemented my oak flooring quite well and again, brilliant at space saving. So this is definitely another essential item that I bought recently. Very, very affordable. It's by Addis and I bought it from Amazon. So um, if you are looking for a simple, foldable laundry basket, I would definitely recommend this one. And actually I want to show you what it looks like unfolded. So all you have to do is basically click the basin just like that, and you have your functional, ready to use 
um, laundry basket. So this basically is the second item that I have brought into the home. And believe it or not, I actually didn't already have a laundry basket. And by laundry basket, I mean one that basically allows you to take clothes out of your um, washing machine to be hanged out or even carrying clothes um, from your kind of main laundry basket into the uh, into the washing machine. I did it all by hand, which is just not really, it's not really smart, is it? So this is going to be a little bit of a game changer and again, an essential item that I think also isn't an eyesore. And of course, you can store it away as well. And the next item is also in keeping with the I want to say laundry theme and it is basically unfortunately a bit of a disappointment but we're going to talk about it anyway because it is an essential item i did buy it but it didn't deliver so let me talk you through exactly why in a second so we're actually going to get up and i am going to take you into this area here and it's basically this item and this is obviously a clothes dryer slash rack and I really really like the aesthetics of it I got it from Garden, Tra Garden Trading sorry, and I liked the, um, the kind of really unfinished wood um, uh, design which I thought complemented my flooring really well and I love the simple sleek design of it as well and unfortunately, when I started to use it, this happened. This, it basically started to grow mold on it and maybe I missed something. Maybe I didn't read the instructions properly, but I don't understand how you can have a clothes drying rack that doesn't come sealed. So what I basically ended up doing, guys, was I ended up basically sealing it with um, like a wood sealant to protect it and make it water resistant and it didn't really work and I did use quite a lot of coats on this as well so it's such a shame because I really 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 do like I'm going to try and show you what it looks like in its full form I really really did like the aesthetics of this but unfortunately it didn't deliver I don't understand how you can have a clothes drying rack that isn't water resistant. So I love the aesthetics and the design. And of course it is an essential item, but it's an essential item that hasn't delivered. So I need to find a new one. So if you come across any ironing, ironing? any um, clothes racks that you think I would like, please do send them to me. Uh, follow me on Instagram as well, so you can send me um, DMs there um, if you find anything that I would like, or if you just want to, you know, have a chat um, or anything. But yeah, this one unfortunately was a bit of a disappointment, so unfortunately I need to find a completely new one. So the next item is this little thing here, which I actually bought a while ago, and I'm sharing it because I'm a big fan. I was basically looking for a waterproof shelf slash stool that I could basically keep in this wet room. So I am in my downstairs wet room and I came across this stool from Ikea and I just love the design and the aesthetics of it. It's very Scandi, very simple and comes in this kind of composite type material, which obviously means that it's waterproof as mentioned. It also, of course, doubles up as a stool, as a seat. It's multifunctional in terms of all the ways that you could use it. So currently it is in my work room as a shelf because I don't really have any shelving in my work room yet to come in the near future. But this for the moment is absolutely delivering in terms of um, being somewhere that you can, you know, add uh, towels or hand washes or whatever. Um, but I thought I would share it with you because it absolutely is really, really delivered in terms of design and it's obviously very affordable because it's from an Ikea. It also comes in red, but red I don't think really works well for the aesthetics of this house. So I went for this kind of nudie colour. I'm not going to have everything in the house nude in case anyone is wondering, but this particular one just works really well for the aesthetics of my wet room. Um, which needs a lot of love. So I need to get a mirror 
for this wet room and potentially some art on this wall here. Uh, I'm not really sure how you can have wet room proof art, but we're gonna see how that journey pans out. But anyway, it is not really about that. It's about this really pretty essential item that you can see here, um, which I really wanted to share with you guys in case you are looking for anything similar. Let me actually show you what it looks like from this angle as well. So you can get a real sense of it. But yeah, so that is the fourth essential item. 